Hi, Gary here again. Just wanted to give a quick demo of the changes in the single page application wizard for the fourth release of the XPages 901 extension library to OpenNTF. I'll run through the same demo that I gave in the last video and highlight the changes as I'm working. So as before, I'll drag the single page application control to my X page and create two application pages, a document collection and a document viewer. The first thing to note is that the initial application page is now chosen on the first wizard page instead of the last. In fact, the last wizard page has been removed. The initial application page is signified by a star in the first column, and I can change this by clicking with the mouse or by hitting the space key. Moving on to the next wizard page, as before, these are the main options for my recent activity document collection page. One thing I got a lot of requests for is that the single page application wizard should produce a mobile application that is capable of basic CRUD. The new wizard satisfies this requirement. Note the new checkbox on this wizard page. This will allow you to place a fully functional new action button on the toolbar of your document collection page. You can still add buttons as before using the commerce separated list, but of course you'll have to give these actions later. Moving on to the next wizard page, I configure my data source for this application page. Then I can choose the summary column and target page for my data view as before. Next I'm onto the main options for the document viewer page. To complete the basic CRUD, note the two extra checkboxes on this wizard page. Using these, I can add edit, save and delete action buttons to the tab bar of this application page. Note also that there's a new option to position the tab bar above or below the form table. Next, I have to configure the data source for my document viewer page, so I'll choose a form as before. Then I have to configure the fields in my document viewer. Again, there was a lot of requests to change this wizard page. Rather than removing fields with a delete button, there's a checkbox to include the fields that I want, and I can toggle the checkboxes for all the fields using this button. I think this makes it easier when you're dealing with documents that have a large number of fields, as in this case. OK, so now I'll choose the fields that I want to include in my document viewer. Also note, there's some new date-time controls you can choose for your document. OK, I'm happy with how that's looking. Remember, there's no final wizard page, so I'll just click the Finish button to create my application. OK, that seems to have worked, so let's preview the application and demonstrate the CRUD. Here's my document collection page. Note the New button, which should be fully working. So let's create a new document. I'll enter some test data. Note the new date picker I can use.
Then I click save to save the document. You can now see the new document and if I click on it I should be able to edit it by clicking the edit button. I'll just change the subject and click save. As you can see the document has now been modified. And of course I can also delete this document. OK, so that's pretty much all the new features in the single page application wizard. We've taken on board the feedback from the community and hopefully delivered something even more useful. As ever, I'd love to get more feedback on how we could further improve. To do this, you could post a comment to this video or simply tweet me. Thanks for listening.